Hey, you guys. Welcome and welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. We are going to do another collective reading for you to see what messages you guys need to know at this time. So sit back, relax, and get comfortable. And do not add anything to your life that doesn't belong. If you feel so inclined, I would love it if you subscribe. Also, liking the video is a great way to help the channel for free. And be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if the reading resonates. But don't give too much of your business away on this here internet, okay? Let's see what the messages are for the collective God. What are the messages at this time that the collective needs to hear? What are the messages, okay? Oh, wow, funny. That's hilarious. Every time this card comes up, so you're being given a heads up, number seven. You're being given a heads up that you are about to receive a message. Either this could be a physical message from someone or it could be a spiritual message. But you guys are about to receive a message or you've already received something that you haven't yet been able to decipher or discern. This may be a letter or a package, uh, something that you have not opened. Um, we also have official person. Okay, or this is a message you receive from spirit that you haven't yet, you you haven't dove into it yet. Like you haven't gotten into whatever this is yet, but you have gotten the message. You just haven't done any research on it or you haven't really looked into it yet, but it's like you already have the message. You just need to read it or decipher it or discern it. Okay, so someone may be sending you a message that, um, you're waiting to read until you get to like a more comfortable place or a place where you can focus better. Okay, this could be a legal message, official person. This could be from a lawyer, a judge, a court, um, a legal building or a legal like judicial system. Like, okay, if you need to get your tags replaced, you're gonna get a letter. You're gonna get a lever a letter from a government office or agency. I feel like that could be what this is, or it's just from an official person, like a lawyer or a judge or someone who may be involved in your situation. What else for the collective? Ooh, snap. My nose is itching. It wasn't the reading, I don't think, okay. Distant horizons, wow. So whatever this message is that you're receiving, it's allowing you to take off. It could be allowing you to travel. You could be getting some money. Maybe you're going to be able to travel or you may have to travel because whatever you're receiving in this message requires you to take flight. Okay. For some of you, I got, I don't know, this may be like a will or a notification of a will being read by someone in your family, maybe someone from the military. Um, this could be a message from like an employer, a job, maybe um, telling you that you need to come in for an interview or something, or you may be being asked to relocate to a different city, state, or zip code. Yeah, but I don't think this is a bad message. Message of concern It's like, you're just like, oh, I need to hurry up and read this as soon as I can, or I need to be in a private place so I can read this message. Wow. And then we have marriage. So this could be a message from your lawyer about your marriage, about your divorce, about your spouse, um, something that you may have to travel to handle. Uh, but it could also be a message that's allowing you to be freed up from this marriage or this contract. I feel like you could be being let out of a contract or you could be being freed up from a contract, like your divorce coming through or you got some type of notification from the court that you're getting alimony or child support. You could be getting a large payment or you could just be getting regular payments. This could also be something that allows for you to move. Like, cause I know like when you're divorced and you have custody things like, and you have kids, sometimes you have to ask the courts if it's okay for you to move. Maybe you're getting the, the go ahead that you can leave. Or whatever this is, whatever's coming in the mail or whatever's coming in this message is allowing you some type of freedom to uh, follow your dreams, collective, okay? So message of concern, I don't think it's a bad message. What I feel is that you're probably going to find out about some information that you weren't aware of that actually frees you up 
to either travel, move, or do some things that, you know, you weren't able to do before. You have more money. You have more flexibility. Okay. Okay. This could also be like if you have assets with someone. If you have assets with someone and you're trying to separate yourself from uh, the contract that you have with this person. I feel like that's what this message could be about. That's what this letter could be about. I feel like it's a letter you're getting in the mail. Okay. Okay, let's see. What does the collective need to know? What is this message about for the collective? Yeah, this is communication that's taken a long time to come in. Eight of Wands. I feel like this is communication that you've been waiting on for a while. You've been praying about this. You've been asking God to like grant you some type of freedom or leverage or flexibility on this matter. Okay. Queen of Cups. I'm going to put that back. Mm -mm. Excuse me. My nose definitely just started itching. Yeah, I feel like some documents were being looked into or you asked the court to revisit a settlement or something like that. Yeah, I feel like you've been afraid that you weren't going to hear anything. Um, or maybe you were worried that you weren't going to get what you needed. You weren't going to get what you wanted, but I feel like you are. What else for the collective in this message? Page of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like you guys were thinking the worst. Okay, but I feel like it's actually going to turn out really nicely for you. Okay. I feel like you're going to be receiving some type of proof, documentation, or confirmation from like a judge or a lawyer that somebody's been holding on to some money that belongs to you. Like it literally belongs to you and they've been holding on to it. Okay, or they belongs to you and they don't have it. So I feel like you're going to be compensated in some other way. Okay. Oh, what's the page of cups first? Oh, Ooh. Ooh. okay. Ace of Swords. I, I thought that was the Ace of Swords, but it's funny that that came out. Wow. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. So you're going to be like, thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. When you have this conversation, this is about to be a very beautiful conversation. This is like a confirmation of compensation. And that's a beautiful conversation. Dang. I got to write that down. A confirmation of compensation. I forgot what I said just that fast, but I'll run it back and read it or listen to it. Oh, yeah. A confirmation of compensation makes a beautiful conversation. That was like what it is. This is a very important message that you're getting from somebody. And I feel like it's from a lawyer or a judge or from an official um, government agency. Oh, my God. Yes. Somebody is literally delivering you some type of money. Or they're giving you some type of money and an apology for something. Like, I don't know. You may have been overcharged. Like, some of you could be overcharged when it comes to, like, paying child support or alimony. Some of y'all could have been, I guess, undercompensated when it comes to those things. If it's not like a marriage, it's like, I don't know. There was some type of contract or agreement where you didn't get paid what you deserve to be paid and you're about to be compensated. What's the nine of wands? I feel like you could be worried about what this person is going to say. Oh, wow. Page of swords. What else is the nine of wands for the collective? Queen of cups came out again. So it was supposed to be right there. But yeah. I feel like you could be a little nervous or have a little bit, bit of worry or anxiety about this situation or this is how you're feeling currently because you haven't heard anything. You haven't heard any news. Okay. It's like, <clears throat> you know what you deserve, but you're not sure if other people are going to see what you deserve. You know, you're being honest. 
forthright and upfront with your information, but maybe you're not sure if the courts are going to believe you. Okay, we have the Six of Swords and the Star card, Aquarius Energy. But I feel like it's a situation where you're going to be guided to what the right thing is to say or you were guided to what the right thing was to say. You're being guided to a smoother, more comfortable place so that you can finally rest and heal from a situation where you've been battered and bruised and beaten down, like emotionally and mentally beaten down. <clears throat> Some of you, it may be physically, like you could have been in a very abusive relationship, but I feel like this was mental abuse and emotional abuse, probably from a narcissist or a sociopath, someone who um, didn't really care about your feelings, okay, to the point where you always feel like you always feel vulnerable or you always feel like you have to watch your back. You know, you always feel like you have to overly protect your emotions. Okay. But I feel like you guys don't have to do that anymore. Okay. What's the eight of wands in reverse? But I feel like something is coming in. I don't think that the reverse, I don't think it really means anything. To be honest, I feel like this message is coming in, but it's a message that hasn't come in for a long time or you've been afraid that it wasn't going to come in for a long time and you've been stuck with this very heavy burden okay but now you're getting new opportunities because even if the eight of wands was reversed then you got the nine of wands that's nine minus eight is one so that's the ace of wands we see the ace of swords ace of cups we saw the ace of pentacles so it's like you're about to be given a new opportunity okay I feel like you're about to be given some type of recognition for the time that you've spent or the time that you have waited for whatever this is. Like you could be, so that could be back pay. Like there could be interest on this payment. Okay. What's the eight of wands? Whether it was upright or reverse, what is it? The five of wands. Yeah. So somebody was trying to keep you from receiving this or keep you from getting this payment or keep you from getting this recognition but see somebody just prolonged the inevitable wow all they did was prolong the inevitable or that's all they're doing because if this was someone who owed you money like you're gonna get paid with interest <laughs> and they don't realize this Okay, what's the Eight of Wands, whether it's upright or reversed? The world. Yeah, this is over. They can no longer cause this conflict to delay whatever this is that, that's coming in. Whether this was a prayer, whether this was a petition, this could have been a petition. This could have been a, a countersuit or a suit in court. This could have been like some type of, um, I don't know, prayer wish that you made out to the universe. It's like this person was physically trying to block this from coming in. And it's like they were also mentally trying to block it from coming in spiritually. But it's like it's coming in regardless of the drama. Like, that's why I flipped it over. That's why the Eight of Wands needs to be in the upright. Because you need to know that it's coming in regardless of how much, how many obstacles or how much blockages that this person tried to put in the way to stop you from getting whatever this is or to stop you from having whatever this is. Like... It's about to be coming in like full force, in excess, in perpetuity. Like it's about to be coming in. Whatever it is that you've been asking for, whatever it is that you've been praying for, you're about to receive like some literal documentation of this. So you're going to not only have closure to know that you were not crazy in a situation, but you're also going to have like interest or back pay given to you for the stress that you had to endure yeah i don't know this looks like somebody was trying to steal from somebody's bank account or somebody was taken from you or trying to avoid learning a lesson it's like somebody was trying to avoid learning a lesson by taking from you they thought they were sneaky they thought they could outrun god just know that you're about to be very happy about this correspondence this letter that you receive um, this co conversation that you have, this communication, just know that you're about to be very happy about this, that it's about to be something very beautiful in your life that's helping you to get what it is that you want or helping you to continue to pursue your goals and your dreams. 
and be your true and authentic self. The person who you were meant to be. I feel like this is going to help you execute some type of strategy when it comes to making your dreams come true or living your life's purpose, doing what it is that you love, speaking, engaging, conversing, networking, whatever it is, you're going to be able to come in contact with the people who you need. Or this is going to allow you to have the resources because we saw the Ace of Pentacles. This is going to allow you to have the resources that you need to continue to pursue what it is that you have been called to pursue, what it is that God has given you the strategy to pursue. Okay. Someone was devoted to stealing from you. Someone was devoted to preventing you from being able to get this. Like they put all their energy and effort and time into this, but it's not going to work. Cat says, so that was Percy too. So the masculine, there's definitely a masculine stepping in with this because that was Percy. That was not Snowflake. I got three cats in here. Snowflake is the one who usually comes and sits around here and meows while I do the readings. Percy don't, don't be around here when I do the readings. He go and find some business about himself. But he literally just said, Row! <laughs> okay. So it's a masculine energy that stepped in. To try to, to kind of uh, lay down the law in this situation, I feel. To somebody who was trying to create some type of blockages or keep you from moving, keep you... Like, this could literally be someone who tried to keep you from relocating at your job. They didn't want to... Uh, they didn't want to approve your relocation or your transfer. Your transfer is about to be approved. You're about to get the documentation. And you may even get a bonus for your troubles. It's like you're getting something extra on top of what you were already owed, okay? Because somebody thought they could run from God. But what's the overall advice for spirit in this situation? Or somebody thought they could run from the universal laws. Rhodochrosite, remember your worth, okay? So you're about to be reminded of how much you're worth, either by what you're being paid in this new position, by what you're being paid from this situation, or by how the universe is about to treat you. You're about to be reminded of what your worth is because someone tried to take that away from you and the universe is not having that. God is not having that. You're not about to be allowed to be put in that position. So you need to remember what you're worth so that you don't accept any bullshit like this to happen in your life again, okay? Lepidolite, recall your dreams. Again, it's gonna be something that's gonna help you get back to focusing on your life's path and then we have Ocean Jasper, schedule yourself in. So that's what I felt earlier. It's like whatever this is, is simultaneously, it's like it's ending a cycle of conflict. It's allowing you to move on and move forward, whether literally or figuratively. And it's allowing you to see clearly that you don't have to be afraid anymore like you were in the past. Okay, so you're finally going to have some time to relax, to rest, to not be so stressed out, to not be so worried about money, to not have to always be at somebody's job or to not be worried about your livelihood so that you can finally get some sleep or so that you can finally relax and do what it is that you've been called to do. So I hope this message helped you guys. I really do love you for being here. Um, be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know how you felt about the reading if it resonated without telling too much of your business as always subscribe if you feel inclined and turn on post notifications so you can be caught up every time i post we do collective readings here and we do zodiac sign readings under the calling but that is only whoever is called to the reading so i will pull cards and before i even know who the reading is about if you want all sign readings be sure to go subscribe to the pisces network and check out the october readings which have been posted for you um, in general and for love. And I hope to see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.